A Pisces, it's Goddess Puff, and this is what they don't want you to know for August 2021. Let's jump straight into it with an Oracle card message for Pisces. What doesn't Pisces, whoa, what doesn't Pisces person want them to know, Spirit? Two more shuffles. What doesn't Pisces person want them to know? Last shuffle. What doesn't Pisces person want them to know for August 2021? Now, right before I cut on camera, I was thinking of this song by Frank Ocean called Nike. You may want to look that up. It may be a, a message in there for someone here. But we have Frog Creativity. Alright, so I feel like they see you as a very creative person, but I feel like they're using a creative strategy to get back at you or to get with you. That's the first two phrases that came with my head. They're using a creative strategy to come back into your life. Um, Blackbird Omens. I feel like you're just a creative person as well, Pisces, of course. Ant, cooperation, yep. <laughs> They're trying to come back into your life. If you work with this person, a, a good sign is that they're going to collaborate with you at work or they're trying to cooperate with you in some way, shape, or form. They're being really creative and strategic about how they get you back into their... Ooh, excuse me, back into their life. We have moth, caution. So be weary of this person all of a sudden trying to cooperate with you. Be mindful of that. This person is also trying to be very cautious about collaborating with you. Also, with dwarf resourceful as the overall energy, this person is using all their resources. They're trying to make themselves very resourceful. Or for some of you, they see you as a great source of income or something. And that's why they want to come back. So be cautious of that. Be cautious of this person trying to work with you in in terms of money. Just wanting money. If they haven't been trying to work with you any other time before until they've seen that there was an opportunity for a payout, be mindful of that. But if that is not the case for you, this person is using very creative ways, regardless, to work with you. But they're trying to be cautious about how they do it. So it won't seem too obvious or so that they won't um, get any repercussions. They're pulling all the strings, using all the resources to get to you. I feel like this person, they're resourceful, but they want your resources for some reason. But that's not for everyone. Okay? <laughs> but let's get into the Tales of Pisces. What doesn't your person want you to know? What doesn't your person want you to know? I'm going to give you two more. What does a Pisces person want them to know? Last shuffle. Alright. So let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. They see you as someone very creative, very independent, self-sufficient. The Nine of Pentacles is Beyonce car, single, solid, stable, and abundant. For some of you, this person could match your energy. They could have their own resources as well. This person could be very creative, very resourceful, very cooperative. I feel like you two will be working together very soon on a project. Let me just put that out there. And then we have the star, Aquarius, also healing. They could see you as a star. You could be in the public eye or they could be. Um, I feel like this is an omen. This is like you're going to be in the public eye very soon. You could be on TV or something or be in the public eye at work in some way, shape, or form, Instagram, whatever it is. You're going to be in the public eye very soon. And this person's going to see you on a TV screen or a computer screen or their phone. They're going to see you on some type of device very soon. And they're going to see that as an omen, as a sign, or vice versa. You're going to see them very soon. And, and you're going to take that as that sign. But they see you as someone who's an independent star. You're a star to this person in some way, shape, or form. You're in the public eye. And they see you as a star. Three of Wands. They see your ships coming and everything's working out for you. You're very resourceful, very creative, very powerful. And so this person is trying to be cautious about how they deal with you. They want to cooperate with you. They're, they're, they're going to see you on social media or in the spotlight in some way, shape, or form. Like... Good grief, Pisces. Nine of Pentacles, the Beyonce card, the Star card. Also, you're, you've are you healed from this situation with this person. You have healed and they see that. You're very independent, very resourceful. I mean, your ships are coming in. Everything's looking great for you. They see you as the Queen of Wands. Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
feel free to flip and reverse the roles, but this is what they don't want you to know. And then overall energy is the two of cups. They see you as a soulmate twin flame. Or, I, I don't know why I said twin flame. The two of cups is a soulmate card, but for some of you, this may be your twin flame. I mean, they, they think very highly of you, and you are in the public eye with the queen of wands. That's someone who's very fiery, very outgoing, very outspoken, very attractive. And they're being, and that's right underneath caution, moth, moths to a flame. That's how you are. You are the flame, and you got a lot of people praising you, worshiping you around you. They see you as that. I don't want to say that bitch because it doesn't matter what gender you are. They see you as the queen of wands, and there's no gender in tarot. The feminine is the one receiving, and the masculine is just the one taking action. So you can be a male and be in your feminine. You could be a non-binary. You know. But let's clarify this for Pisces. Clarify this message for Pisces. Clarify this message for Pisces. One more. I mean, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Like, oh. Again, no matter how you identify, they see you as a bad bitch. Okay? <laughs> yes. Very giving me very much Beyonce. <laughs> Okay, clarifying the Nine of Pentacles is the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands. You could be heavily guarded. I instantly thought bodyguards for some. Wow, I, I've never gotten that thought at all. Bodyguards. But it doesn't even have to be in the physical sense. It could be in um metaphoric you don't have to have literal bodyguards around you 24-7, but you can have people who will go to war for you in a sense, in that way, or in the spiritual realm. But you got people who will definitely fight for you. You're heavily protected, and of course, you got a lot of options. This person also, what they don't want you to know is, they may try to act like they're taken but they're not. They want to give you the illusion that they are. Or they're trying to be creative and give you the... Because this person is single. And they got a lot of options. But they're guarded against those options. So this person trying to put on a persona that they're a player. Or that they want to be single. When really they're just guarded. And they want you. If that makes sense. Because it's like this person is trying to put on the persona that they're single, but they have options. But they also, like, they're guarded against those options, though, because they want you. So they're trying to act like a nonchalant. Um, they're trying to act nonchalant, like they want to be single and alone, when really they got a lot of options to keep them occupied. Because, But really, they're guarded against their options. They don't want those options because they want to be with you. I can't explain that any better, so I'm going to just keep going. <laughs> Clarifying the star card is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person is a player. Like, this person's a player, and they want to heal those ways. They want to change that. But it's like, the way they're doing it is weird. Because they're trying to put on the illusion that they don't really care about having a lot of options. Them in actuality, they don't care because they want to be with you. <laughs> That's the reason they don't care. It's not that they're just a player. It's just that they just want to be with you. And then the two of swords. They feel blocked from healing this with you. Or they're blocking themselves from reaching out to you because they, they know they're not ready to settle down. So this person's a bachelor, point blank, period. And and it's like they're blocking themselves off from reaching out to you because they feel like they have to get this in order first. They're very guarded. And I feel like this person has commitment issues and they cheat or lie or just stay single and have other options because they're afraid of commitment. This person's afraid of commitment. Clarifying the three of wands is the six of pentacles. They know you're you deserve equal give and take, and they know they have to heal. They're gonna do the work to heal themselves, but I'm telling you now, they're not healed right now. They are gonna try to slowly come creeping back into your life and rebuild a friendship and work with you. 
but this person is not ready to settle down yet they're very guarded and they still they're still in that player energy they're healing it though because the star clarified by the nine of wands they may see you as a player this person or you could be a public figure i feel like this person is the player you have a lot of options too you're very attractive and you're the main option that they want but this person's a play. We have the Three of Wands, clarifying the Three of Wands and Six of Pentacles. So they see you getting blessed. I mean, you're getting blessings on blessings. Everything that you put into something, you're getting back. Financially, I'm feeling that. And then with attention and praise, I mean, you are just a, a celebrity. In some way, shape, or form, you are a celebrity to this person. And this person may have a lot of options too this person may be in the public eye too or get a lot of attention or praise as well but it ain't nothing like you like that's how they feel they got a lot of options but they see you as the end all be all clarifying the queen of wands is the page of wands you're going to hear from this person they're going to send you a message they are going to send you a message and then a the page of swords they're spying on you they are spying on you you could share children or one of you could have a, chi a fire sign chi child, Aries Leo Sagittarius, or an air sign child, Aquarius Libra Gemini. Overall energy is the devil, Capricorn. This person's obsessed with you. I mean, they're infatuated with you. They are extremely attracted to you. I mean, this person can't get enough. <laughs> All right, that Michael Jackson song, Don't Stop Till You Can't Enough. <laughs> This person can't help themselves. Like, they're just, they're obsessed with you. You also could, I, I don't know why this car won't stay in place. <laughs> but this person, they could be a Capricorn or an Aquarius or in, they could be any sign or just have these signs heavily aspected. But, oh, excuse me, I'm going to sell you again. This person is a player. They got a lot of options. They pretend like they're single and they want to be alone and independent, but really they got a roster of people so they can boost their self-esteem so they won't feel lonely. But really they're guarded against these options because they want to be with you. So it's like they got these people around to fill the void. It's like this person used very manipulative tactics to stay single. But yeah, they use very manipulative tactics to stay single. They keep a roster of people to keep themselves feeling, to boost their ego. But it also allows them to not be thirsty when they're around you. Because if you reject them, they could just go back. You know, like, this is just a, this person's a hot-ass mess. I'm going to tell you right now, they have not changed. They still got a lot of work to do. And they know this. But they are watching you heavily. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to try to work with you in some way, shape, or form. Because they are obsessed with you. Out of all their options, they see you as the end-all, be-all. And they are... I mean, they just can't get enough. It's like the fact that you don't need them in any way, shape, or form. And you can have anybody you want, apparently. And that makes them want you even more. Because they feel like the people that they're with are chasing them. But you're unbothered. You don't care whether they coming or they going, <laughs> you know. That they do want to heal this with you, but they're they're protecting themselves from doing so until they've healed. It's like they're this person's being very cautious. Okay, you will it won't be obvious to you what they're doing. I mean, it may be for some of you, but it's going something about the way they do things is going to shock you. All right. If you are interested in ordering this beautiful crystal jewelry, the link to the Instagram is in the description box below. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give, give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.